Hey everybody, Mark Dawes here. Now, since I put the video out yesterday about the Level 3 Assessors Award that we're offering on our courses this year for people who want to come and train with us so we can upskill them to get this award for free, I've had a few messages and a few emails and people wanted to know, you know, what's this about and how is it structured, etc. So I'm not going to go in depth into this, but I thought I'd give you a quick overview about the different types of Level 3 Award there are and show you the one that we're offering on our courses this year. So I'm just going to jump inside my computer and let me take you through the, the different Level 3 Awards and the one we're offering. So here we go. It's basically some awards and a certificate. And these are the Level 3 Award in Understanding the Principles and Practices of Assessment. Now, if you are, have done or are doing a Level 3 Award in Education and Training, you can take this unit with your Education and Training Award or do this award instead of the unit for that, that qualification. There's also an award, a Level 3 Award in Assessing Competence in the Work Environment and a Level 3 Award in Assessing Vocationally Related Achievement. And there's also a Certificate in Assessing Vocational Achievement. And although it's a certificate, it's not a higher qualification than the awards per se. It's basically a combination of the three awards. And I'll, I'll explain that in more detail as we go on. So the first one is a Knowledge Unit. And in your Education and Training Award, there is a knowledge unit that's called Understanding the Principles and Practices of Assessment. Now it is an optional unit in your Education and Training Award, so you can take it if you wish to. And if, and if you do that, then you've covered this, this particular module here. Or you can do it separately, and then you get a level three award in Understanding the Principles and Practices of Assessment. Now the award in Understanding the Principles and Practices of Assessment is a knowledge-based award consisting of one unit, which is for anyone wanting to be, or is currently an assessor, or for those who need to know about assessment practice but who are not currently assessing. And that would be people like administrators, managers and supervisors. And it can be taken prior to or alongside the other units if relevant. And as I said before, if you are also taking the Level 3 Award in Education and Training, this unit could be taken instead of the AET Assessment Unit. Now, let's move down to the Performance Units. And one of the Performance Units is Assessing Occupational Competence in the Work Environment. So if you do the knowledge unit and then you do this performance unit, that will give you a level three award in assessing competence in the work environment. And this award is for assessors who carry out assessment of competence in the learner's work environment using the following assessment methods. Observation, examining work products, oral questioning, discussion, use of others, for example, witnesses, learner statements and the recognition of prior learning. So this is where you are actually doing assessments in the workplace of someone doing their job. The other performance unit is Assess Vocational Skills, Knowledge and Understanding. And if you do this performance unit with the Knowledge Unit, then you end up with a Level 3 award in Assessing Vocationally Related Achievement. Now, that's the Level 3 award that we're offering on our courses. That's the one that we think is the most appropriate award for the type of training we do, which is people coming on training courses to, to leave with a qualification. And this is for assessors who carry out assessment of vocational skills, knowledge and understanding in classrooms, training workshops, or other learning and simulated environments using the following assessment methods, you know, assessment and stimulated environments, skill tests, oral and written questions, assignments, project case studies, and RPL. And this is the award, you know, if you are delivering regulated qualifications to people who come on your courses, once again, this is the award you should be looking at. Then you've got a level three certificate in assessing vocational achievement. And although it's called a certificate, it's not a higher level than the award, but what it means is, is you've done all three units. You've done the knowledge unit and both performance units. And if you do all three of those units, you can end up with a level three certificate in assessing vocational achievement. So you can go on to do that, or you can do that all in one go. And this is for assessors who carry out assessment of occupational competence in the work environment and assess vocational skills, knowledge, and understanding in a training environment. So, for example, if you are someone who is employed and you've got to go and assess people, uh, you know, members of staff about their job, but then also get them to come into a classroom and attend training courses, then that's the sort of certificate that you want to be looking at. So now we're offering the Level 3 Award in Assessing Vocational Achievement because, as I've said already, you know, as training providers, we're inviting people onto courses and we're assessing them in a classroom or in, in a gym type environment if we're doing physical skills. So that's the most appropriate award for us. And we'll be uh, upskilling all of our trainers with that award this year. Uh, and when I, when I say all of our trainers, all the people that come back on our refresher courses will be actually doing that award. And if you're attending the, our five-day course as well, then you can take that award as an option on there as well. Completely free of charge, by the way. Uh, no charge for that. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, get back to me. 
I'll be delighted to answer them for you and I'll speak to you soon. And by the way, if you have any comments, you know, leave them under the video if this is on LinkedIn or, or Facebook or somewhere and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for listening and I'll speak to you soon.